do you make the technical training interesting for them, but also fun? Competition. Competition, competition and competition. You know, I love competition because our life is to compete, you know, and, and my player loves to compete, you know, and then I I tell you, you know, for in my team, basically we we start to compete from the bagger ball and, you know, I keep the score of, of who, win, who win the most, you know, and then it is already very, very, you know, very important for the liberal because, you know, the liberal what they want to be the best in, from the bagger ball. And then I I make serve reception always competition, you know, so all there is serve reception with, you know, serving team together with the receiver, receiving team against the other team. Or I I there is like server against the libero, or there are, you know, just goal. You know, I, I give to the libero the goal. And, and if they, they, they don't finish the goal, you know, they stay there. You know, so basically the libero they never receive without but they never receive without a final a final goal, you know, that is or is to compete with somebody against somebody else, or is to compete against themselves. You know, again, the score. So I always give to them this kind of training, and I and I think it's very important for them. You know, and it's very important for everybody. Actually, that's why again, even my my normal serve reception drill that I do every day, I have two, three, basically two. You know, competition drills. So I want that every uh, serve reception drill have also there inside some competition, and I think for the delivery is very important. Even when I train their set. You know, I put the two liberal in competition. You know, the first the one that make five basket go. You know, the first one that make three basket go. You know, or I mean, the first one that that make five five defense. You know, always try to 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 compete them. Sometimes it's not fun. You know, because interesting. I believe interesting. Sometimes it's not fun because when when there is a liberal that win much more often than the other. Of course, the one that that lose the most, or the one that lose the most is not fun. That's why sometimes it's not always competition by, by themselves, but at the end, you know, when you put the goal, it's, it's always like this. Or sometimes I, I also put the liberos together, you know, okay, I give, sometimes I give the goal in individual goal, and sometimes I give the the goal together, you know, so the mistake of one brings zero, the other two, uh, or, but the plus of one, you know, give one point more to, to the other, you know, so also I think this is, this is, very, very important for the libero, but for anybody else, you know. And I can tell you, you know, because it's, it's incredible, you know. I can tell you today, because I tell you today because it happened today. But basically, in any of my training, is like this. I like just, I don't, I don't give award, you know. I don't give, sometimes I offer, I offer a bottle of champagne or sometimes I offer 10 euro, you know, sometimes I offer, I don't know, uh, one, one, something to eat, but, you know, sometimes, most of the time, I don't give any reward, you know, just at the end of the training, we make, let's say, four or eight or 12 mini set, you know, with different kinds of score, depending on the training, every, every time are different, but are always, you know, small competition that are four or five minutes, and after I rotate, four or five minutes after I rotate, and I keep a, a chart, you know, in my whiteboard. Every time finish this mini set, the, the six, seven player that won, they put the star near their name. You have to see, you know, and I'm talking about one of the best team in the world, you know, made from many of the best players in the world. If I mistake to put one star, they become crazy. They kill me. You know, they kill me, you know, so I have to pay very attention. And again, not that one star is 1,000 euro, you know, it's just one star, you know. But I think it's, it's very nice, you know, because at the end, you know, at this level of player, at this level of, of great, you know, champion, that they want to win always what they do. They want to win also the daily team, you know, a star chart. They want to be every day the one with, with, with the most stars. You know, and I like that. I love that, you know, because it, it, it also, it teaches us to the coaches that, hey, you know, sometimes we, 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 we think very complicated, but here we have only people that want to win everything they do, you know, so, and, 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 the, and the Sunday we want to win. So what we have to do for, for win the Sunday, 
create more winners during the week and, and give them possibility to, to compete during the week. You know, I cannot understand this long training without score or this long drill without score. We, this is not volleyball. This is not what we what we want. Of course, I do sometimes six and six without score, you know, but generally I do just or if I really want to put some new things. So of course we have to try new things and so I don't want to put the score or the, the day before an important match, you know. So of course the day before before the final Champions League, I don't put the stars, you know, I don't put the, the competition. You know, I, I don't put the three side out in a row, four side out in a row, one plus one. I don't put nothing. You know, I don't put nothing. I just give them time to think, time to repeat in, in the very relaxed. But in the week, in the training, I love this, this stars way. And I love to see how much they care about the stars.